and welcome to another tutorial video on WAWF. This tutorial video is very special today because we're all human and we all make mistakes. Have you ever submitted an invoice and you accidentally put the wrong price or forgot to add documents or did something else incorrect on the invoice? Well, today I'm going to show you how to recall an invoice. So go to your PIEE website, log in, okay? Go to the WAWF tab and click on it. You're going to go to the vendors tab. You're going to go to the history folder and click on it. Now you need to delete the reference procurement ID as I'm pretty sure your name has populated in that. And then delete that and click submit. Now, here's a list of all of your invoices. Go to the invoice that you accidentally made a mistake on, which in my case would be here. There is a section that says recall, change Dodak or void. We're actually gonna click on the R button for recall. This will bring up your invoice, where then you can either go into the line items, update the pricing, or go into the header, update, whatever you need to update. In my case, I need to re-add some attachments. So I'm gonna go to re-attachments, uh, okay? I'm going to delete this attachment, and then I'm going to upload the new attachment. In my case, my invoice was incorrect um, against the pay of the invoice on WAP. My POC is very particular, so no problem. We're gonna go back in. I changed the invoice. And now we're going to add that invoice. He actually saved me some money because I put the wrong pricing. That would, I put $40 less than what it was supposed to put. So we definitely don't want to do that. So what we're gonna do is now that we've up, attached anything that we needed to attach, we're going to upload. Okay. We're going to click on invoices or whatever document this may be. We did click delete on submission. So what will happen is once we submit it, it will delete this invoice and it will add this invoice. Okay, we have added this invoice to this attachment. So, you're gonna go back to your header because I always like to make sure that everything is correct, everything is good. And then we're going to click submit. And now we have resubmitted our invoice. Stay tuned for more tutorials. See you later. Okay guys, thanks for watching. And make sure to like and comment and subscribe for more videos.